Hello, my name is Natalia Bilal. I am a TV host, actress, online host, and athlete. And I will be sharing some tips today for the Rideshare Hub. If you're new, this is a channel that uh, shares tips on how to be a better and healthier Lyft and Uber driver. If you're not a Lyft and Uber driver yet, you can get a sign-in bonus by clicking on the link in the description. So today I'm going to be sharing some tips on how to stay healthy while being a Lyft slash Uber driver. So the first thing you guys have to take in mind is that if you're driving around, you're basically sitting down, which means you're going to be having a very comfortable position, but you need to then again stretch because if you're sitting down for too long, your body can get a little tight and that's not great for your muscles. So tip number one, if you're a Lyft and Uber driver, if you've been driving for over two hours, I would recommend that you park on the side, preferably not in the middle of the highway, and you get out of the car before you, of course, you turn off the engine. That's really important, guys. You get off the car, get out of the car, and start stretching. I know it sounds silly, but it's really important to stretch your legs, you know, just make sure that your blood is pumping through all your body. You stretch your shoulders, your arms, your neck, and walk around. I can't really walk a lot because I'll be out of frame, but you get the idea. So important. Also, if you've been driving for over two hours, you also need to, let's say, mentally de-stress your mind because driving can be very energy drained because you need to focus a lot, especially if you're driving people around. So get out and also look at that beautiful sun. When you're outside your car, you actually get the sun rays hitting your skin without a glass. So it's great physically and mentally. Alrighty, so tip number two, how to stay fit. It's important to also stay hydrated because especially when you're driving in the summer and your AC is on, you can really dehydrate very, very quickly like this, boom, super quick. So it's really important to have water beside you, preferably water and not some like soda drink because sodas have a lot of sugar and that actually helps to dehydrate you. So it's not that great. So always carry a bottle or a couple of bottles of water close to you and even carry a few more just so you can offer them to your customers, you know, get some tips and get some great ratings. So just bring a couple of bottles of water with you whenever you're driving around in your Uber or Lyft to stay hydrated and to also offer to your customers for extra tips and better ratings. Look at this amazing sun. Wow. Can you still see me? Tip number three on how to stay fit as an Uber or Lyft driver. It is very important to have a good night's sleep. So if you've been partying the night before, it's probably not a great idea to then be a Lyft driver the morning after because that's going to mess up with your cycle and especially it's going to mess up with your driving. And now we're talking about safety, guys. Safety comes first, so make sure that you're driving under the best conditions. So try to get as much sleep as possible. I mean, some people need three hours, others need six, others need 12. Whatever it is that you need, just make sure that you're fully rested so that you're not driving and you're feeling drowsy. And also when you're tired, you also tend to be a little cranky. Well, that happens to me. So if I don't get enough sleep, not only am I not paying all the attention I should be paying to the road and to my driving, but I'm also very cranky to my customers. So that's probably not great for my rating and perspective tips. So sleep however you want on a bed on the floor, but just make sure you get enough sleep so that you're then driving 100%. Okay, tip number four, eat healthy food, healthy snacks. Try not to eat fast food before or during your Lyft or Uber shift because it's gonna make you feel heavy, it's gonna make you feel drowsy, you might get stomach aches, you might feel a little extra tired because of the kind of food that you're eating. So my suggestion is that you bring fruit snacks with you that you can actually eat throughout your shifts, perhaps not during the shift, but in between shifts, you can definitely reach out and grab a couple of snacks and even offer them to your customers for high ratings and extra tips. So it's important to stay healthy by also eating healthy. It not only benefits your own um, work, but it also benefits your image. It benefits your state of being. You know, it's been proven by some studies that I can't really refer to right now that people who eat healthy food are in a better mood. So there you go. Drivers who are in a better mood usually tend to get higher ratings.
So eat healthy, bring snacks, make sure they're like in a cooler or in a place where they're not gonna get, you know, destroyed or, or smudged or whatever. So yeah, eat healthy. And our final tip is uh, to work out when you're not, this is obviously not while you're driving for safety reasons, but on your days off, try to work out because it's the best way to stay healthy, have a healthy body, have a healthy mind, healthy spirit. And if you're spending many hours, say I've met some drivers that usually drive for over eight hours a day, that's a lot of time driving, a lot of time of paying attention and just being sitting down is a lot of time. So eight hours plus drivers out there, make sure you're working out on your days off. Make sure you're exercising, you're hiking, you're walking. I recommend that you hike outdoors, so find a park nearby, or just basically go to the groceries and just walk instead of drive. So when you're not actually working as a rideshare driver, try to walk just so that you don't get as much driving into your system and you're actually more energized and let's say feeling a little bit healthier overall. So this is all from me. Thank you so much for watching. This is the Rideshare Hub, a channel for rideshare drivers, Lyft and Uber drivers. I am Natalia Bilbao. You can find me on Instagram, also on my website. And remember, if you want to become a Lyft or an Uber driver, you can get a sign-on bonus by clicking on the link in the description. And I'll see you again very soon for more ride-sharing tips. Have a wonderful day. Bye.